Hey guys, uh, I guess Comic-Con just happened, and uh, of course a bunch of other news has been going on. Uh, instead of making an individual video for each of these trailers, I'm gonna give my thoughts on all of the major trailers that I saw, uh, at Comic-Con. Well, I mean, I didn't actually see them at Comic-Con, I, I saw them on YouTube and they were from Comic-Con. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, first off, we're starting with the trailer for M. Night Shyamalan's movie Glass, which is coming out next year in 2019. This trailer is awesome. Like, I loved Unbreakable. I think it's M. Night Shyamalan's best movie. And I loved Split. I think it's M. Night Shyamalan's second best movie. The thought of these two worlds coming together, and really, it's it came as such a, as such a surprise. Because I was not expecting Split to be a sequel to Unbreakable. It's really insane. But here we are. We have uh, Bruce Willis, James McAvoy, and Samuel L. Jackson all together. And my god, the clashing of these characters is going to be so cool. Like, you see that apparently uh, uh, Mr. Glass and the Horde, played by James McAvoy, are going to be teaming up. Like, good god. These two... I, I cannot wait, and especially James McAvoy, which apparently we even see some more of his personalities in this trailer that we didn't see in Split. I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't become a gimmick, like I'm hoping it's still just as good as uh, how they did it in Split, but wow. I mean, James McAvoy does not get enough credit for his performance as Kevin Wendell Grum slash The Horde. He... I think should have been nominated for an Oscar for this. He was so good. And I'm hoping Bruce Willis is really good in Glass as well. Because really lately he doesn't really give a shit about whatever the movies he's in now. So hopefully, and luckily it looks like it from the trailer, that you know he does actually give a shit. Like he actually does care about this movie. And if... And I, really, I've been thinking about it, and if M. Night Shyamalan pulls this off, like if Glass is just as good as Split and, um, what was it, Unbreakable, we might have another one of the best trilogies ever. Which is so weird coming from Shyamalan. What, okay, yeah, but whatever, I'm really excited for this movie. Now, let's talk about Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Now, I have the unpopular opinion that I thought the 2014 Godzilla is magnificent. I flat out loved it. I think it is the best giant monster movie ever made. Like, I don't consider Jurassic Park a giant monster movie. Like, they're just animals. And really, Godzilla does sort of do that as well. But if we're talking about, you know what I'm talking about, you know, creatures that don't exist. That 2014 Godzilla was just so, so good. I actually liked how they kept Godzilla hidden in the shadows. I liked that they didn't show a lot of Godzilla. Because it, in, for me, at least, it made the payoff at the end even more special. But enough about that Godzilla movie. Let's talk about the trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters. This wasn't what I was expecting from a Godzilla trailer. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Because the first trailer for the very first Godzilla movie that came out in 2014... Uh... I think it's one of the best trailers ever made. It's so intense. It feels like these uh, soldiers are dropping into hell. It looks like a horror movie. Uh, and, and yeah, that, I think that was one of the greatest trailers ever made. This trailer, even though, even though I don't think it's as good as that trailer, it's still beautiful. Like, it has a sort of 2001 A Space Odyssey kind of vibe. Like, the colors are just beautiful. The imagery is beautiful. Also, let's talk about the monsters that are going to be in this movie. We're going to be having Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, that giant pterosaur, and King Ghidorah. Or Ghidorah? Like, King Ghidorah? King Ghidorah? I don't know what it was. Uh, but, you know, the three-headed dragon... That tr that uh, shot of King Ghidorah in the ice is so amazing. It's ex like I was a little bit sad that Gareth Edwards wasn't going to be coming back for King of the Monsters, but whoever this director is, I'm hoping and luckily it looks like we might be in for a really special treat. Next we have the trailer for Aquaman, and really I wasn't so sure what to think of this movie. I mean I was ex I mean I was anticipating it, but you know I wanted to see a trailer because it, like for me I can't really get that excited over a movie unless I see a trailer, and you know I'm sold. This looks amazing. Uh, like the CGI. I mean I have to see how it works in the movie, but so far it looks pretty good. Uh, the it's really creative. 
Uh, the colors are amazing. And, of course, Jason Momoa looks really good as Aquaman. And I've always said that Aquaman was a cool character. Even before Justice League, I've always wanted an Aquaman movie. Because Aquaman... Like, really, I mean, take the stupid, uh, what was that, what was that show called? The, the, um, L the Super Friends show or whatever? Like, take that out, like, cause that, that's not Aquaman. Aquaman is the king of the ocean. Like, he's, he rules three quarters of the entire planet. Really think about that. He can control water. He can control whatever creatures are around. The, uh, 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 not to mention his melee skills. This is an amazing character, and I'm hoping this movie Aquaman can showcase that. Uh, and also, I just realized, is that a Mosasaur? Like, what? What's with the popularity of Mosasaurs nowadays? With with the Jurassic World movies and now Aquaman, I guess people are starting to really like Mosasaurs for some reason. Hey, I like Mosasaurs, and I love that. Like, I love that. You know. You know, Mosasaurs were like this, ex like, I, it, it adds a little bit more, uh, what is it, mythos to the uh, Atlantean world. Because we up here on the surface think Mosasaurs are extinct, but, you know, they're thriving in Atlantis with the with the Atlanteans. I love that. I love that, it, like, that kind of mythos. Oh, it's so cool. It's, it's just so much fun. Next, we're going to talk about another DC trailer, Shazam! Now, I was a little bit concerned about this, because I, like, when you saw the set photos of Shazam, I thought the costume looked kind of lame, and I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't so sure if the muscle, if, like, uh, what's his name, Zachary Levi's muscles were all that, you know, muscly. Like, I thought they were kind of fake looking, and I wasn't so sold on the logo at first. But, oh my god, this is, like, this might be even better than the Aquaman trailer. Th like, this plays up the fact that, you know, if, like, if this little kid could just say Shazam and be a superhero, it would be a really awkward and really funny experience. And he just, he really does come across as, like, a little kid who could become a superhero. Especially this scene right here. You have bullet immunity! I'm bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. This trailer is so funny. I'm so excited to see Shazam. I think even in within the context of this, like the costume actually does look pretty cool. I mean, it does look. I mean, it doesn't look as you know serious as like the as like Superman's costume from Man of Steel. But really, I do actually like this costume a lot. This costume, I, like once we actually see it, I actually do think it works pretty well, especially for the tone that this movie's going for. But not all of DC's trailers were winners, because let's look at the final trailer, Titans. Now, look, I was excited for a Titan, for like a, a live-action Teen Titans, because I just love the Teen Titans. I love the show. I even like Teen Titans Go. I mean, I, I, like, Teen Titans Go isn't as good as the original show, but I still find it pretty funny. It does have its flaws. It does go a little bit too stupid. But for the most part, I really admire how weird Teen Titans Go is. And so I was legitimately excited for, you know, what if they made a live action Teen Titans anything, like maybe a movie or something. I think a movie would probably be best because, I mean, like when they announced that it was going to be a TV show, I was like, okay, it's going to be hard enough trying to make Teen Titans into a movie. Like, with the stuff that Starfire can do and Raven and especially Beast Boy, like, oh my god, how do you do Beast Boy in live action? It would be hard enough to do that in a movie, so I wasn't so sure how it was going to be done as a TV show. Uh, now, apparently it was originally going to be on TNT, like I think they made a pilot or they were going to make a pilot for TNT, but for some reason TNT wasn't really interested, and so I guess it's now going to be on this new DC streaming service called DC Universe. And after seeing this trailer, I think I know why uh, TNT didn't pick it up. Oh my god, this trailer is beyond stupid. Like, it's like laughably bad. Like, it's so cheap looking. Like, when I saw, like, uh, the set photos of Titans, I was hoping that it would just be, you know, like, yeah, we probably don't know the context of it. Uh, we probably need to see these in action, and we're, they're probably not gonna look like this all the time. I was dead wrong. 
they look exactly like how they do in the photos, and they look awful. Now, granted, Robin's costume looks amazing. Like, it's actually exactly why I would want a, a like how I like if I were gonna be making a Teen Titans movie or something or something involving Robin. This costume is exactly what I would have in mind. It looks exactly what I would do, making it really, ar making it pretty armored and stuff, and yet still having the colors. That's exactly what I would want Robin to look like. I, that's exactly what I think I would have him look like. Every other character looks so terrible. They look so cheaply made. For some reason, Beast Boy looks like Jack Jacksepticeye when he had green hair. I don't understand any of this. It looks so stupid. Oh, but that's not even the worst part. The worst part is when Robin says this line right here. Fuck that man. You get really? You can't be serious. You actually want me to take this seriously? Now, some people have been complaining, Oh, there goes DC being dark and gritty again. Now, look, I don't mind the idea of a, of a dark and gritty Teen Titans thing. Like, I mean, look, because look, Batman vs. Superman and Man of Steel, whatever problems those movies had, it wasn't because they were dark and serious. I mean, if you made them lighthearted, like, the, the problems that were there would still be there. But with Titans, this actually does look like they're trying to be dark just so that they can be edgy. I mean, they have, they clearly have no idea how to be dark and serious. They have no idea to, like, it just, it just looks so stupid. Again, this line right here is just so stupid. Fuck that man. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so stupid. By the way, in the comments below, leave the hashtag uh, FuckBatman2K18. It's, my god, I, I want to spread that around because this line is so fucking stupid. Oh, so yeah, this is a fucking failure. I mean, I, I mean, granted, we haven't seen the show. It could be good. I don't want to imagine how it can be from how stupid and emo and Twilight-esque this trailer looks. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know about this. Uh, if I were going to pick out which trailer I think is the best, it's certainly not going to be Titans. It's by far the worst. But I think if I were going to pick which trailer I think is the best, I'd probably go for Glass. Glass, I mean, my god, this looks incredible. And I'm hoping M.I. Shyamalan can deliver on this. I mean, here's hoping he can. So, here's my question. What are your thoughts on the trailers from Comic-Con? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like. Share the video so we can get the channel circulated. Don't forget to support my uh, Patreon on my Patreon page. And don't forget to support my short film, Nosferatu. Link in the description below. There's going to be a video at the in the end uh, thing here. That's going to take you to that video. And if you want to see more, click this.